Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Templeton Rye for a year. This is going to be my first rye, so we're going to be jumping straight into this. When I was at the liquor store, since this is going to be my first rye, I had to get a good suggestion about what would be a good one to start out with. The worker who was there ended up telling me that Templeton Rye was a great one to start out with. It was 95% rye, the rest of it is Baltim Marley. Er, malted barley for the rest the, or the the other five percent so 95 five percent and this is he told me that this was a great starter and that this was Al Capone's favorite drink and I thought whoa that's so cool something from prohibition era just mobster I could totally see him drink something like this so I decided to do a little bit of research on it just to find out if that was actually true. And I come across the fact that this, like the back of this bottle here says that it was in from Templeton, Iowa, and that basically the farmers at the time, because prohibition was happening, they couldn't make any kind of alcohol and actually like sell it off and actually get money. And that's another way that farmers got income is that whatever crops they had left over, they would sell it and then get get some of that money and they would sell it to distilleries so then a lot of the farmers ended up becoming like these bootleggers where they start making their whiskey off the side and try, try and do whatever they could to make another income so this i find out later that from what i read that the, that when this originally came out there was a, a label on here that says prohibition era recipe and find out that there was a whole lawsuit against this because it actually wasn't and that this was just made by the Seagram's company and this was like this is literally like the poster child for lying what's in your drink or what's in your bottle they come up with this big old story and that it's it's not real so <laughs> apparently it wasn't even it was like uh, it also had a label too of like straight uh straight rye and that's not the case it's definitely not straight rye because there's additives into it but either way i'm still going to go into this because this is going to be my first rye and i'm excited to really hop into this let's go ahead and get started with the nosing oh wow that's actually whenever i hear rye i, I think of super spicy and bitter but with this though i'm getting very soft sweet rounded flavors from this i'm getting like bits of vanilla maybe a little bit of caramel crazy i want to say maybe even bits of banana a uh, little bit of spice here and there kind of peppered throughout it's not too not too strong on the on the pepper let's go ahead and hop into it Whew. that's almost like a warm handshake Whew. just coating the insides and making them warm immediately that's really interesting wow Okay, so there's there's definitely like this like the sweet vanilla to this. There is definitely like a bite near the end. Probably that's the rye. Funny enough, I hated rye as a kid. So it's just funny how now that my now that I've grown older, I start liking other kind of flavors and tastes. This is quite tasty. I like it. Might have been just from the first sip, but the the bitiness or just the bite that's with this ended up kind of laying off the gas for a little bit and now it's very smooth very well rounded so what i'm getting is vanilla caramel very much very very similar to what i was smelling this has a bit of spice in the back uh in on the back end a little bit like i want to say cinnamon overall though that's that's quite nice i mean for i mean if you were to drink this as something where you just wanted a daily drinker. This is a solid choice as far as rye goes. Gotta say, I mean, if you don't, you know, want to read into this, the background or the history or any of the politics behind it, then, you know, that might make you upset if you were to do that. But overall though, I think that this is a solid choice to begin with. And I mean, I, I was honestly getting a little worried for myself because I was like, oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But honestly, it is well-rounded, sweet. I mean, I've always been a sweet tooth when it comes to my drinks anyway. So really good for the money because I got this for roughly around $25. So if you're able to pick it up for that, I'd say give it a shot. Anyway, I think that's just about it for me today. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys 
in the next video. Bye bye. Al Capone? But this drink came out in 2006. Bunch of liars!